images of the goddess appear throughout India. She can appear on her own or as the consort of a male deity. The goddess represents the primal forces of nature, energy, and fertility. She can appear wrathful or compassionate. One of the most popular forms of the goddess is known as Durga. Durga is highly revered in Bengal and Bengalis all over India, even if they're away from their homes, come the month of October when it is time for Durga Puja or the festival of the goddess Durga, there'll be 10 days of celebration. Statues of the goddess Durga are handcrafted with clay on a superstructure of straw. They are brightly painted and dressed with fine fabrics. The statues are displayed, a competition is held, and prizes are awarded. Durga rides on a lion, and her many arms brandish weapons given to her by the male gods who were unable to defeat a demon. The moment that we see in the statue invariably is that Durga mounting or standing on the a lion. Often there is a human figure emerging whose chest has been pierced by this trident uh, held in Durga's one of her hands, one of her ten hands. When she is destroying the forces of evil, she is not doing with any kind of personal animosity. She is doing it as an act where justice must prevail over injustice, where righteousness must prevail over wrongdoing. At the end of the festival, the statues are taken to a nearby river and immersed in the waters. She is returned back to the earth because she was constructed with clay and the clay once again returns to the earth. But it's not unusual to find grown people crying, really, really grieving, and they'll be kind of beseeching the mother to come back again next year. Yeah.